Who cares about whiskey? It's an interesting question because I don't think that many people actually do care about it. And in this series of videos, we're gonna take a look and answer that question. So welcome to this rather flippant video, potentially, about whether anyone actually cares about whiskey. Because if you've ever spoken to me on the phone about whiskey investment, you may have heard me say, no one cares about whiskey. And the most important thing to think about in whiskey investment is that no one cares about whiskey. So yes, that's a really flippant thing to say. So where's the backup? Where's the evidence to support this theory? And I'm not saying in this video that this is right or wrong. I'm just presenting the evidence to you to make your own minds up. So there's quite a few different ways to look at this question to see if anybody cares about whiskey. And in this video, we're gonna talk about collectors and the secondary market. And we've got a really beautiful example. We have got the Black Bowmore Final Edition. It was released in 1995 and it cost 100 pounds. It's 31 year old. Bowmore, it's absolutely sensational. The whiskey itself is superb quality. I've never had the pleasure of trying it, but it is, by all accounts, according to Whiskey Fun, superb. It's 93, 94 points, I believe, this one. And we've got this bottle for sale on our shop now. I think it's about 15,000 pounds plus the vat, which is expensive. It was released for 100 pounds in 1995. It, 10 grand expensive whiskey. But remember all along that this bottle is £15,000. If you pay me £15,000 today, plus the VAT if you're in the UK, no VAT if you're outside the UK, we can deliver this bottle to you. Now, let's put that aside. How does that prove the point that no one cares about whiskey? Well, you have to look to the most, one of the most beautifully designed bottles of whiskey or yeah, yeah, we'll call that bottles of whiskey, the Aston Martin DB5 Black Bowmore. Now, this was released in 2020. I think it was about a year after Bowmore and Aston Martin announced their, their partnership. And essentially, it is a sensational, sensational production in itself. It's a fantastic presentation case. It's a hand-blown, I believe, a crystal decanter and it sits inside the piston of a DB5, an Aston Martin DB5, of which is famous from Goldfinger and James Bond. It's now a million pounds worth of car nowadays. It really is a supercar. So you've got these two superpowers of branding smashing together and making something which is truly incredibly looking. It really is a fantastic presentation. But how does that answer, what, what, what who cares, so what? So what, one of these sold for £115,000 at Bonhams recently. It was released for £50,000 in 2020, two years later in 2022, it's now worth £115,000, which is quite a jump in itself, but it was quite a limited edition of 25 bottles. But this is where we get to the, the nub of the matter. The whiskey that is in this bottle, the, uh, the Black Bowmore Final Edition, is the exact same whiskey that was put into the Aston Martin DB5 edition. And it doesn't even make any attempt to hide this. On the front of the box, it says bottled 1995, and then it also says rebottled 2020. So the point here is, is that the same liquid in two different glass bottles is there's a hundred thousand pounds difference in price. So who cares about whiskey? Because if it was just about the whiskey, the bottles would be worth the same amount. But that's the key. It's not about the whiskey, it's about the bottles. It's about the beautiful, sensational presentation of the Aston Martin DB5 edition. So yes, it is flippant to say that no one cares about whiskey, but it can actually be backed up. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a hundred thousand pounds difference in price between these two bottles. And this isn't a standalone example. There's lots of other examples and we're going to do an ongoing series about bottles that have disparities with, with modern releases or modern rebottlings because it's really, really fascinating from a marketing and economic viewpoint. Now, I don't really want to make any conclusions in this video. It's more just to draw your attention to the fact that the same whiskey can be in two different glass vessels and there can be a hundred thousand pounds difference in the price. How does that make you feel? Does that change your perspective of, of whiskey? Does it change your perspective of the industry? Get in the comments below and let us know. And in the next video, we're gonna take a look at and sort of explore whether the industry cares about whiskey.